Hi everyone, this is Anthony Mark from Mark Digital Media and in today's video we're going to show you a technique to generate consistent characters using Pika Labs Pika AI text to video generator. So let's get started. Right, so you can see I've prepared the work folder here with a source image. So look, so this is yours truly. Um, and this will be your target subject. So that's prepared there. Now we'll move to the target video. Sorry, that should be source subject. And this is a target video we'll be using. So as you can see, this is a normal Pika Labs generated video. And um, we won't go into the prompting today, but obviously once you're happy with a video, then you can go forward using that. So, once you're happy with that, we can continue. Now, so the next thing you have to do is go to our website. We'll try to include these links in the comments below, in the pinned comments, because uh, our YouTube channel is quite relatively small. It means we need uh, more supporters. So please like and subscribe to give us more features. But as you can see here, I'm going to our blog and go into the latest post, Consistent Characters in Pika AI. Here you'll see a link to a Google Colab. So the next stage in the process is to visit this link here. Okay. And so we'll go through to the link. Right, so let's reload that. Right, so here we are at the Google Colab. And a big shout out to the creators of this. Um, much appreciated for the hard work they put in, in developing this for us. So as you can see here, there are, let me just clear these cells so that you can see it more clearly. So there are only three cells here. And you've got a folder directory on the left hand side here as well so we can expand the folders see nothing's there at the moment first thing you have to do is run the first cell you can see that it will come up with this notice um, or you just have to uh, run that anyway once you're happy with it and then you can continue right. so we'll wait until this completes And you know when it's finished um, completing, uh, when the play button has stopped spinning. All right. Notice that the file directory has started to increase as well, so it's preparing for the next stage. You can go down to the bottom and we can just wait for it to complete down here before we move on to downloading the model. And here we are, that's complete. But do take note here, you will see a runtime error and it will ask you to restart the runtime. Please ignore this error. If you do, it will uh, fail the process. So all you have to do is continue like that. Now, once that's downloading the model, the next stage is to grab the source files and just drop them into the directory. Just OK this warning here. Pretty common sense. And then we're going to get, so the source is there, and we're going to get the target video next. Right. All right. 
Okay, so you can see we have a problem here where the target video is not exactly uh, completing with the upload. This is very important. Do not continue the process or it will fail if you try to continue the process without successfully uploading the files. So I'll show you a little trick on how to overcome this little error here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our source uh, file and target video and we're actually going to um, copy them both together like this and then we're going to drag them back to the collab and we're going to re-upload uh, them. See this time it's actually worked and this last one here I think we can get rid of because we already have a copy of the file here in the directory. So, if we're happy with that, we can continue to the last cell. Now, if you have a look at the instructions on this last cell here, you'll see that there's a target path, there's a source path, and there's a content path. Very important to take note of. Because what you want to do next is you want to change these paths update them so we go to the source right click and then copy path okay we're going to paste it over here just like that we're going to do the same thing with the input video or the target video uh, click copy path and then we'll paste in there Okay, so once you're happy with everything, then all you have to do is run the final cell. Okay. So now, as that's downloading, uh, all we have to do is wait. I will say it's important to um, use a .png file with the source image. We found um, it can not work if you use any other format. And the image itself, if you want to look at the image used in this video or in our um, blog post, try to um, resize or get the dimensions of the head of the source file around the same size so you want it around the center of the image because if it's too zoomed in to if it's too zoomed in of an image then the uh, AI will have difficulty in actually finding um, all the all the details of the face so make sure the space the face is a good distance away as well so what we're going to do next is just wait for this to complete because when it does complete what we will have is an extra file that's appeared in the directory and that will be under the name of swat.mp4 and here we are so we can see there now the cell stops running. There's now a file by the name of swapped.mp4. If it doesn't appear, you can just click on the refresh button there. But all we need to do now is download and watch this video. So we'll download it here. And let's take a look. and here's our finished video so as you can see it's done a good job of translating the image onto the actual character in our target video and it's done so while maintaining the light in textures and style as well <clears throat> which is very important 
Uh, let's have a look at them both side by side. So here's our original video and here is our processed video. You can also see a significant increase in the amount of details to the face. So even on just normal videos as well, if you were to um, like the video but wanted more details on the character's face, then you can easily use this technique to enhance it. There are other methods to achieve this, which we are looking into right now, um, outside of CoLab, and other techniques such as using this technique with multiple characters in a, in a shot. Always remember to close down your active sessions in CoLab, otherwise they will ban you, and you don't want that. Okay, so that's our tutorial. Hope you find it useful, and feel free to ask any questions. Take care. Bye.